Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about the imperfection of perfection. And I think perfection is becoming a bit of a disease in the world at the moment. Um, all you need to do is look at sort of Instagram, magazines, before, like, before the internet and things like that, before social media, we, we read magazines, we had posters, but it wasn't every single where we went, it wasn't everywhere we looked, there were normal real people in the world. But nowadays, this ideal, this um, ideal of what we think we should look like, what we think, how we think we should behave, is everywhere all the time, there's no break from it. It's not just in magazines, it's on your phone, it's on the TV, and I think it's really damaging for a number of reasons. For a long time I've realised that perfection, although it's good to strive for perfection in some things, it comes with its limitation. And I'm saying this because <laughs> I do have a slight tendency for perfection in my life, not that I've ever necessarily achieved it, but it is something that I've sort of struggled with from time to time. For starters, perfection can slow creation down. Um, when you strive for perfection, it's a bit like a, a procrastination technique because perfection can, can never really be attained, um, not in the eyes of the person who's trying to achieve it anyway. So if you're striving for perfection, one, if you're, it's in a project or something you're working on, a creative something that you're creating, then it might slow you down in actually presenting it or actually accomplishing it because you're always hoping for it to be perfect when it'll never actually achieve that perfection you're trying to strive for. So you limit yourself in what you actually achieve in life. Second of all, perfection is exhausting. Um, trying to achieve perfection is draining, it's soul destroying really. But even if you think about a project or a creative thing, if you're striving for perfection, it takes away the fun, the joy, the excitement of what it is that you're trying to create. And as I started with this um, episode, talking about perfection in oneself, um, striving for perfection within oneself is also exhausting and draining. The amount of time and energy and effort you have to go to to create this perfect you, whatever that happens to be, is absolutely exhausting. And on top of that, not only is it exhausting, but it's unattainable because perfect for whom? Um, you know, perfection is in the eye of the beholder. It's, you know, if you look at the fashion, you know, out in the world, there are so many different styles. You know, which one is the perfect style? If you look at the sort of supposedly sort of the best body types, nowadays there's so many different types of body, you know, that are sort of held up to be perfect. But which one do you go for? Which one is the perfect body type? I suppose the thing that I've realised about perfection is that A, I've said it's soul destroying trying to achieve it, but somehow or other, when you when you show something that is supposedly has been striven to be perfect, it's almost like the soul is not in that thing anymore. It lacks warmth, it lacks depth, it lacks... And as I'm speaking about this, I'm thinking of um, sometimes if you go to a hotel or a house where somebody has um, styled it to the nth degree, it lacks a warmth, it lacks a welcoming kind of feel to it. It becomes cold and sterile and kind of harsh and soulless. The same goes for people. Um, you know, if you meet somebody who is absolutely perfect in every single facet or could be perceived to be as close to perfect as you can get, there tends to be, it tends to be quite hard to connect with them. Because the strange thing with people is that it's not the per perfection in somebody that we connect to, but it's the imperfection. If you think about the people that you're closest to in your life and you think of why you're close to them, it won't be because of the perfect times you've had with them or because they're perfect. It'll be because of the imperfections that you've shared together, the imperfect times, the things that you've struggled through, the things that they've shared, that they've been insecure and vulnerable about. When those things are shared, those imperfections, so to speak, those are the things that create connection between us. They connect us, they build trust, they allow us to be authentic and real. So although we are kind of influenced to be perfect in this world through all the media that we absorb on a day-to-day -day life, it actually doesn't give us what most of us really seek, 
which is deep connection with another human being, which is beauty and um, something that opens our soul and our heart. Those things, those wonderful things that do that, are not perfection. They're not things that are perfect. They are imperfect, imperfect things, spontaneous things that cannot be captured and held. I'm thinking now of when you're creating something artistically. There are two ways to create something. Well, I'm sure there's many ways, but I'm thinking of two ways at the moment. One of them is to create something that looks absolutely perfect. The other way is to allow the creativity, the inspiration to come through into what you're creating. I remember when I was doing my design project way, way back when I was doing my A-levels, I started by doing my sort of ideas, drawing them very neatly and very tidily. And my design teacher was trying to encourage me to sort of allow the creativity to flow. Eventually I got what he was talking about and my sketches became a lot less refined. They became much more messy. But with that messiness came something sort of like they became alive. And I could see the difference between something that I'd striven to make perfect, which was flat and dead and dull, and something that allowed the creative energy of whatever it was that I was thinking to come through. And it looked a bit messy and it certainly didn't look perfect, but there was something alive about it. And when I think of things that I, I term as perfect, it's the most beautiful sunset or sunrises. I remember not too long ago, I had what I termed as a perfect day. And there wasn't anything particularly perfect about it and I could never recreate that day. Um, it was just the people I was with, the time of year, the weather, the fact that I didn't have anything stressful or worrying, the fact that we had time just to sit and lie under a tree, and we were just going with the flow. It wasn't something premeditated. I couldn't have made it perfect. I just had to allow myself to be in the moment with the perfection of what was being created then and there. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to say is when perfection, when creation comes from control and the need to make it perfect, it loses its soul. But when we allow ourselves to be present and in the moment, and we allow ourselves to be at peace with all the imperfections, then perfection can come about. It's not something that we can make happen. It's something we allow to happen through us. And I'm going to round off by saying that some of the people that I think, I suppose I'm most inspired by, are people where the light seems to shine from the inside out. They're not perfect by the standards that you'd see on a Instagram sort of feed or in a magazine or on some of the famous movies that are out. But to me, there is something so much more. It's like when they're in a room and when you, even if you watch them on YouTube or something like that, the, the beauty within them is so radiant that it touches you and moves you on a very, very deep level. And to me, that kind of perfection, that being absolutely present, is infinitely more special than the perfection that we try to create through control. It's been a bit of a ramble, <laughs> but I hope that you'll have gleaned something from what I've been saying. And always remember that if you need to connect with me or you want to have a look at my online courses, they'll be down in the show notes below. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.